I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm going to start off with a few repurchases. Um, I got another one of the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. It's a 100 milliliter 3.38 fluid ounce glass bottle that it comes in. This is the one that I have in use and it's kind of down to about right there. But I wanted to get another one so that I can take this one to my office at work. But I kind of like to refresh kind of throughout the day when my skin is feeling a bit parched. And since I already use the heavier glow recipe in the winter time, um, I kind of use this one two or three times throughout the day and I really love this product It's kind of my go-to in the summer months too because it is a little bit of a lighter hydration So I tend to use this a lot kind of initially when I spritz my face in the warmer months But it's just a lovely product. It doesn't break me out. It's not irritated It actually gives my skin hydration like I said without sitting on top So it's a Korean product peach and lily I believe is a Korean based skincare brand and I do like quite a few of their products um, So yeah, I'm gonna take this one to work and then keep one in here again that's the peach and lily glass skin veil mist hydrate and glow and it's such a good product i also got another one of the cosrx advanced snail 96 mucin power essence this is a 3.38 fluid ounce or 100 milliliter um, pump bottle as well and this is also a Korean brand so I have used up several of these in the past and then I had ordered two like snail essences on Soko Glam and so I wanted to get through those before I repurchased I've got about this much left of the one that I have right now so I wanted to go kind of go back to the uh, Cosrx one I do like the other ones that I tried I don't remember the brands off the top of my head but I still think I prefer the Cosrx um, over the other ones so um, this is what it looks like. I think I showed that to you. I got a little sample in um, like a gift with purchase type thing of their cleanser. So I'm kind of excited to try that because there are quite a few products I've tried from Cosrx that are really lovely as well. But this is what the bottle looks like right there. And if you like like a, it's like a serum to me. It's called an essence, but it's more of a, it's a thicker product than like a liquidy type of essence. And I just really like the extra little boost of hydration that that gives my skin. So again, that is the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence right there. And then I kind of have a new favorite liquid liner with a brush tip applicator in the well. And that is the LA Colors Precision Lining. And it's in the shade black. Um, last time I was in Walmart, I did see, check to see if they had other colors and they don't but I wish that they did because this is a really nice not only the packaging of it I like is the brush with the well but the actual product itself is a really really nice product so <laughs> they're like I think two three dollars kind of can't beat it um so I got some backups of these this is the one that I have in use right now and so I just like to shake it up like that and then you've got a brush tip and then your liner the the actual formulation has got a nice water resistance to it and it does dry down to kind of like a satin matte finish and it's just really dark and inky and easy to use, super affordable. Um, one of the best actual liners like this that I have tried in a very, very long time. Prior to was the Essence um, Precise Liner, which I still love that too. It's It's got a little bit more of a shine to it in the formulation in comparison to this LA Colors one. So it's kind of drying down. I'll let it dry down here and show you um, the finish because it obviously looks shiny when it's still wet. So there's the dry down. You can see it's it's a little bit more of a matte finish, which I do really like. I also bought another Gucci blush. So this is the Cheeks and Eyes Powder Luminous Matte. And I got the shade Soft Red 08, which I had been eyeballing for a while. I really, really like these Gucci blushes for the ease of use and the color on them. Even though they're they're vibrant, they're, they're soft, and they're just really, again, really easy to use. So this is Soft Red. I have got it on as a blush today. I kind of put some on my forehead, my nose, chin, kind of all over. And it gives this nice, like, sunburnt look, but it's not super in your face. It's just Soft Red, <laughs> which is the name of the shade. And this guy here is Made in Italy, so that's the box packaging. It's one of these ones with the cute little star packaging. This is my, I believe, my third one of these blushes. I truthfully would like to collect them all. <laughs> but this is soft red. There's a little mirror in there. And you can see how much I've used this because it used to say Gucci on the top and you can't see it anymore because I've been wearing it a ton. I just really, really like it. Soft red is the best description for it. And again, very, very easy to use. So that is the Gucci blush. Uh, Cheeks and Eyes Powder Luminous Matte in Soft Red right there. And again, that's what I have got on today. 
I also picked up the Other House Labs by Lady Gaga Eye Library Eyeshadow Palette. So she came out with two of these kind of, I think I believe it was part of the holiday collection. And I'd hauled the other one a couple weeks back and I really like the formulation of this. So there are six shades, a total of five grams or 0.18 ounces of product in here across those six shades. And these are made in Italy. So this one here is volume 001, the Super Neutrals. So this is the box right here. And these palettes are on a really good sale at Sephora right now too. And I believe that uh, sale on sale is also going on. So you could pick this up at a really good price. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a hard uh, plastic with a magnetic closure. And then you've got these really pretty three super shiny foily shades and then three satin mattes. And I would call that formula similar to like the creamy matte formulations we've been seeing, but this one in particular is one of the best that I've seen um, and ease of use with pigmentation and stuff like that. It doesn't create hard pan. It picks up really easy on a brush. They're just very, very nice and they blend out so easy. And these foily shades are stunning. And this one here is also a one and done for me. And then these guys. Just really, really pretty formulation from House Lab. So that again is the Eye Library Eyeshadow Palette in the Super Neutrals 001 right there. I also grabbed some stuff at Ulta. I was super excited when I was in store to see um, a gondola of the Raban makeup. I had purchased one of their Iphoria for um, four pounds off of the internet a while back and was really impressed with the quality of the formulation. So this particular color story just really intrigued me and I loved the way the look came out. There's nothing like super revolutionary or anything like that about the colors but there was just something about it that was just really pretty. Nothing over the top or anything like that. Very easy to use and just a really pretty formulation. So the second one that I picked up here is Feel My Vibe. So there's 2.6 grams of product or 0 0.09 ounces and these are made in Italy so this is the box packaging a lot of the products in the gondola weren't like out like there weren't testers and so it was almost like they were filling it as it was coming in or something but I'm really intrigued next time I go back to kind of check out all the testers and other products from the range there are some lip products that I've been eyeing but I didn't want to kind of blind buy them especially when I seen that gondola I was like I'll just wait till like they stock up <laughs> so anyway this one here um, this is what the packaging looks like. I really would have liked it if they differentiated the packaging a little bit from one another, but it's all in this kind of silver packaging. There's a little plastic piece going over the shades as well. And then here are your four shades. There's one of those satin matte shades in here as well. That's this one right here. And it again, much like the House Labs one, it's a similar, it feels like a similar formula. Um, and one of the nicer um, cream kind of cream to matte powdery type formulations if you will um, that I've come across because some of them some older variations of that creamy matte um, haven't been that good in my opinion or they've been kind of finicky to work with these newer ones that are coming out are super nice so um, again just a really unique color story I had put this guy in the crease I blended it out with this orange shade and then I put this one underneath the brow on the first third of the lid and then this one on the rest of the lid. And again, um, I just really liked the way that the look turned out. And they were very easy to use. I think if you're somebody who doesn't like like super vibrant in your face color, but you like to play around with a little bit of color, I think that you would really get along with these kind of shadows very well. So that is the Rabon Handbag Palette in Feel My Vibe right there. I also saw this NYX Ultimate Flamingo Frost color palette, so from the brand NYX, and it just looks super pretty and cute, and I've got a couple other um, of these, what, 16 pan palettes here, and the quality's been pretty good on them, and this one here, I just love the look that came out of it. I had put this, um, 
like green on my lid and it had just the prettiest like sparkle the mattes are pigmented they blend really well I just had really good luck um, with this guy here and it was on sale when I bought it and considering this is probably like a holiday kind of themed one I bet you could even get it on better sale if you can find it in stock um, so again this is the flamingo frost palette from NYX so you got the flamingos on there and then here are your shades this is a one and done palette for me and I just love the color story and I did really enjoy the look that came out of it as well I want to say that the collection that this came out with I think there were three variations of these 16 pound palettes but this was actually the only one they had left in the gondola that day the eye pigments, there are 12 of those, they're 0 0.02 ounces or 0 0.8 grams a piece. And then the face pigments, there are four of those, 0 0.02 ounces, 0 0.8 grams. Another one of those deals where they throw the face in there because there's pigments that aren't deemed eye safe type of a situation. But again, it's probably it's more like a staining issue. I remember I did have staining when I put this guy in the crease, but it wasn't massive. But that's why they kind of say eye and face palette to get around that, you know. And this one is made in China. Some of NYX's older holiday palettes, like those really big ones, I remember there, there's one, I say I remember when it's like sitting over there. <laughs> um, Santa something was so, so nice. Like amazing quality. And then these guys. This matte shade like totally blended in with my skin there. So yeah, really enjoy that guy. It's definitely like a fun festive one for sure. So that is the NYX Flamingo um, Frost palette right there. I also bought the ColourPop Cloud 9 12 pan shadow palette. So this has got a total of 14 grams or 0.49 ounces of product across 12 shades. It's one of the 12 pans with the larger pan size <laughs> and it's this guy right here because I do love a cool tone moment this is such a pretty color story it's got that soft matte texture um, type of packaging in a cardboard with a magnetic closure and then this guy does have a pressed uh, glitter shade which is this one right here but ColourPop has really gotten amazing um, about their pressed glitter formula I think that their press glitters are some of the best um, in the business. They actually mix, I think, a little bit of a, a pigmentation to it, but it's got a great binder in it. So it holds the or suspends the glitter really well. And I can just use my finger and kind of tap it over either um, a tackier primer or um, as like a topper shadow. And I don't like hardly get any fallout or anything from them. So they have really, I feel like, perfected the in palette pressed glitter formulation. So these are also magnetized inside the palette. Um, it's also a one and done for me and I do love the color story so that shade right there is your pressed glitter this guy you can just see how like saturated it is I really want to get that new uh, golden hour 16 one that looks super pretty good that's a pressed glitter so you can definitely see um, there's like some metallic base pigment with a bunch of glitter suspended in it. It's very, very pretty. There's like silver and gold kind of glitters in there. And then this next row. I did wear this one on the lid and it's got like this duochrome aspect to it. Um, it wasn't quite as shiny as I was hoping it to be, but it still looked pretty. It was just quite a bit softer than um, what I was thinking it would be. And then this bottom row. But I don't know, it's like just the prettiest frosty snowy kind of cool tone palette and I really like it really enjoyed the looks that come out of this guy so that is the ColourPop uh, Cloud 9 pressed powder palette right there did I say that already? 
I also grabbed this Juvia's Place Culture Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Fula, F-U-L-A. Two milliliters of product, and this guy's made in Italy. I swatched um, all of the shades in store, and there was they were all pretty, but this one in particular just was like stunning. The sparkles are so, so pretty. So it is um, one of these kind of glitter topper shades. I haven't tried it like directly on the skin without a primer or anything like that. I've just like used my finger and tapped it over other eyeshadows, but it is such a pretty, pretty color. Like I like this type of multi-chrome product in eyeshadows, I like it in highlighters, I like it in everything, <laughs> lipsticks, toppers, <laughs> um, but it's such a pretty, pretty shade. I don't know, it's so multi-dimensional and as always these are like super hard to show on camera, but it, it's, it was my favorite one out of I think the four or five that they had in the range in the store. Yeah. I do wish that the packaging was circular so that I could really make sure that the cap was tight because sometimes when they're in this square packaging you can't really tighten it more because it lines up because it's a square and kind of like the Stila glitter and glows all of those for me dried out and some of them dried out super quick and they weren't exactly cheap so <laughs> I do wish the packaging was round because I don't want this to dry out because it is so so pretty but that is the liquid shadow from Juvia's Place in Fula. F-U-L-A. I also bought the new Lethal Cosmetics Midnight Serenade Pressed Powder Palette. So this is their newest palette launch. And I like the little graphic on there. I think it's a moth, right? With a little skull right there. Um, they still don't print the information on the actual packaging that's on the sleeve. So if you want to retain the information, you need to keep components of the sleeve, which I just wish that they would print it on the packaging. So this is the back of the palette. Here is the front. And then you have got the sleeve right there with the information on it. So uh, this guy here has got a total of, can I find it? Oh, it's up here in the corner. 15 grams or 0.53 ounces of product. And that is across 15 shades. So each shade would be a gram. And this guy here is made in the EU, is what it says on there, USA, Canada only. Um, most of Lethal Cosmetics products say made in Germany on them, but this one says EU. So um, that means like essentially somewhere in Europe, right? <laughs> so here's the actual palette again. Cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. It does have a mirror. I love love the interesting color story. It's a one and done for me. And there's something about no matter what color combination that I use with this palette, um, they're just very unique looking. And I love that about this color combination. Um, the shimmers are really pretty. The mattes are pigmented and they blend out really well. And I really, really do like it. Really, really. <laughs> This shade on the lid is just stunning. Well, all of the shiny shades are, but this one in particular, I pair it with that one first and that one over the majority, and it's got these really pretty, like, multi-dimensional sparkles in it. And then these next guys. I do wish that these ones were magnetized, but they are not, and most of Lethal Cosmetics palettes have been, so I'm not sure why this one isn't magnetized. And then these guys. And these last three. So that guy right there is the new Lethal Cosmetics, I gotta grab the sleeve here, uh, Midnight Serenade uh, Pressed Powder Palette right there.
I also got the new Adept Cosmetics Element 115 palette. So I ordered this on launch and it took a minute, which they do indicate that on the website when you order. It took a minute to get here, um, but I just absolutely love this palette. It's primarily the eyeshadow palette that I've got on my eyes today. So they do a really good job about packing their palettes. This is the box that the palette came in. Uh, there's a total of 18 grams in here and this guy is made in China is what it says on the box packaging. And then there's always like a little um, plastic piece that's covering the actual packaging, kind of protecting it, and then I pull it off. But there's a little alien on here, and then it says Element 115, and then Adept Cosmetics on the back. This one also, if you want to retain any information, you have to keep that little plastic sleeve or either the box to retain that because it's not on the actual packaging. Um, I love, I love, love, love these shadows. I have got, I believe every single Adept Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, and I love them all. <laughs> so this has got two rows or 10 shades of the most pretty metallic multi-dimensional sparkling shadows in them. I should show you the packaging. Let's finish the packaging. It's metallic, it's got a mirror in there. It says on the mirror, it says uh, believe. So we're gonna believe that aliens are real, right? <laughs> and then here are your shadows. They are stunning. The bottom row is all mattes. The top row is all those really pretty shimmer, metallic, multi-dimensional, multi-chrome along those lines shades. <laughs> I've got um, this guy right here all over the majority of the lid. And then I'll show you a shade that I pulled out from the Seahorse palette, which I also love. Um, I grabbed this, it's called C Sindo. This shade right here in the set, whoop. In the center right there that's what's underneath the brow and on the inner portion of the lid because this palette has only got kind of um one shade one and a half shades i say half because i could use the bottom lower of that kind of five shade shade <laughs> or this yellow and when i've used this palette by itself i'd primarily use that yellow as the highlight shade and i absolutely adored the looks like that but i was like i'm kind of getting a dip in there already <laughs> so i was switching it up with some other lighter shades like the seahorse palette is full of like highlighty multi-dimensional shades so i paired it with that palette today with that one shade from the seahorse palette otherwise this is what i've got on my eyes today and the mattes are pigmented they blend out really nice and wait till you see the swatches of those shiny shades these are also magnetized so i can easily pull a shade out from the seahorse palette say if i was going to travel with this or something like that and I can have an extra highlight shade in here right so pretty they're so pretty let's do this one sideways I've only used these like like multi kind of shades like that I don't know how to call what to call them um mixing all the shades together I haven't tried to like tear them on the eye or anything like that but at least on my fingers right there you can see what they look like um in the stripes and then they'll be all smushed together when I swatch them here but they're fun I think that they're fun you can kind of see like how that one, even though I went to the side, it's got, you know, the different colors in it. And these next ones. And then these last three matte shades. You do have to be a little careful with that really deep blue matte. Um, it's quite soft and I do need to make sure I tap my brush off really well or I'll get some fallout and because it's so like finely milled, it doesn't brush off quite as easily as I would like it to. So I, I just have to make sure that I tap my brush off well with it, but it's so pigmented and rich. Look at this. Oh. Do you just want to look at like how pretty this color story is too. I love it. I absolutely love it. So that is the new Adept Cosmetics Element 115 pressed powder palette right there. And this is primarily what I have got on my eyes today. 
that's everything that I got and that I purchased. I did get in some lovely PR packages. This first one is from Paula's Choice. It's kind of like a little uh, Christmassy type of a, a package, if you will. And I'll set this lid down. But inside of here, there is a dark chocolate smoked sea salt candy bar, which I love. I love, love, love dark chocolate. So I'm excited to eat that. <laughs> and then you've got like a special edition of the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with the gold top right there. And that's a product that I used to use morning and night every single day for a really long time. And then it was a winter couple, I think two years-ish ago. Um, and it just was too much, a, too, a little bit too much for my skin. So I had to kind of taper off of it. So I'll use that guy every once in a while now in conjunction with the Pixi um, or like the Saturday Skin or like an AHA type toner because this is a BHA. So it's a salicylic acid. I still do use this product. I just don't use it as much as I used to because like my, my skin's older and it's getting drier <laughs> and it has a hard time in the winter time. So, cause this is a really powerful um, product and this comes in an extra strength version too. So if you've ever found that you know BHA isn't doing anything for you try the Paula's Choice like extra strength version of their B liquid BHA you you'll notice <laughs> something with that so a huge thank you to Paula's Choice for sending over their limited edition BHA exfoliant and also the candy bar Pixie also sent over a little uh, PR box and this has got their tint fix satin lip tint in it's this guy right here this is the shade um, a door and I haven't seen this particular product from the brand so I think maybe it's a newer product um, so this kind of has that it's got a glossy kind of texture but also a little bit of a soft matte kind of texture as well and it has a little bit of a dry down to it it's a really pretty color this one here again it's the adore shade it's like a orange color so it looks shiny originally but it does like I said it dries down a little bit so I'll just leave that there for a minute and it has this kind of like this sweet scent that I really like, like a a sweet tart maybe <laughs> type of a scent. There's also the Glowy Powder Radiance Powder, 0.4 ounces, 11.3 uh, grams. And this is in Peach Dew. So I've had a couple of these in the past. Um, my mom really loves the rose one, but I think this is a new shade. I don't recall this particular shade. Maybe I just don't remember. <laughs> but this is the Glowy Powder in Peach Dew right here. It's got a really pretty like shine to it and it's super soft. So I'm gonna wear this tomorrow as a blush shade because I think that would be a really pretty radiant blush. Glowy blush, that's what it's called, right? <laughs> Glowy powder is what it says. <laughs> so I suppose if you had a deeper skin tone that might be a really pretty kind of peachy highlight. So there's that guy right there. And then there's one of the liquid fairy lights and this is in pixie green. These are some of the best like glitter toppers. I've got a couple of these um, right over there, but I like to kind of put them on with the little applicator and pat it out. I don't get fallout with these. And even though these ones are in a square packaging, I have had those other ones for quite a while and they are still like the day that I open them. So they do have a good longevity even though um, they are in the square packaging. And this color is super pretty. So again, it's like a toppery type of a shade. And I don't remember this shade either. So I think maybe th these are all kind of new-ish colors. But how pretty is that? So again, there are like glitters in here suspended in a base. So again, I like to use them as toppers. Super shiny. So that is the fairy lights right there in a pixie green. And then there's also the Lash Line Ink Liquid Eyeliner. This is a felt tip liquid liner, 0 0.03 fluid ounces in here. And I'm not gonna open this guy because I've got quite a few of these open already. And I don't use these as my primary black liner because I find that felt tips really drag on my lids and I just, I like the fluidity. That's why I love the inkwell versions with the brush. Um, but I do like to use these type of pens to really get a crisp line or a really nice point either on the inner corner or at the tail of the liner. And again, I've got quite a few of these open so I'm just gonna leave this one alone because it'll be a good backup for using how I like to use those products and a huge thank you to Pixie for sending over those guys and lastly I got a package from Kiss with a bunch of their products and I love getting a box of products from Kiss full of false eyelashes. It's like the best thing. <laughs> this one's got a, a bit of eyelashes, but quite a few of the um, nails, like press on nails. I think they might be new variations of them. So let's open up the box here. There is a mirror that they sent over as well. I've heard really good things about the Kiss like press on nails, but I still haven't tried them yet. I just feel like I would just pop them off right away because like 
the things that I do like horses and trim and feet and all that type of stuff <laughs> but I do want to use some of these because they're so pretty I just haven't done it yet so I'd love to know you guys opinion if you try products like this like the longevity and, and how they work for you but let me show you the um, shades here we've got this is a medium and this is the fantasy magnetic velvety effect gel ready to wear so this is the sculpted nail vf09 it's like multi-dimensional and then you've got the velvety effect i love these ones this is vf05 like I've got quite a few nail polishes in a similar color to this because I love the way that color looks on the nails. Same with this one. This is really pretty. These are those are both. That's a short one, and this one's a short one. This is VF06. It's like a, a navy gradient on there. And then we've got a medium in press on 90695 right there. Kind of got the red tip on there. And you've got the impress color. These are really pretty, like a metallic pink and the fantasy gel in fs17 these are medium length these ones are these ones are much too long much too intimidating for me <laughs> these are the extra longs fg04 i know i couldn't i could not do these i would wreck them so fast <laughs> and then you've got the impress color in 83758 and these are shorts they're like a matte white which these are really pretty too. Another short one, Impress Press On Manicure 89385. This has got like a marbled white with like a tip of gold on there and then like a kind of a velvet navy blue. And then there's also the Lash Glue Liner 2-in-1 and this is a dark, which is super handy. I think this type of a pen product is super handy to have in your like purse to like if you have any corners that like to pop up it's an easy like touch-up situation and then there's a, a white version of the same product you've also got the false scara new non-stick applicator uh, this is kfck 01 tg is what it says on here there's a false scara remover there's an applicator the bonder and also the lash scara overnighter so i'm gonna have to open this up and kind of look a little bit more into this guy um, to see kind of how to use these. I love, I love false eyelashes. Um, sometimes I get impatient with more individual cluster style ones and I just want to put like a strip on and roll, <laughs> you know, but um, they also sent over this So Wispy curated collection, which is fun because it's a multi-pack. There are five pairs of lashes, but they're all different. So like easy to try out a bunch of different um, pairs of lashes. So a huge thank you to Kiss for sending over that package again, opening up a box full of false eyelashes is just the best <laughs> and that is everything that i have for my haul today i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful have a happy and safe new year's i'll see you next year <laughs> uh, thank you for watching do not forget to wear sunscreen and i will see you guys later bye